Hey, what's up, nerds? It's Ill Mac. You know that you're tuned in. Um, we're actually live at YouTube headquarters, Daddy's home, and uh, yeah, we just wanted to take the opportunity to go live for a half hour, converse with you guys, a answer some questions you may have. There's been a lot going on in the way of battles and everything, and I know, uh, you know, judging from my timeline and across social media, I'm sure you guys are hungry for that inside information. Um, basically just got back from New York battling JC out there um, on RBE at the Pearly Gates event. And if you don't have that VOD, um, which is just a delayed pay-per-view, just not live, comes out the next day, you can go to rapgrid.com to, uh, to check that out. And um, I'm not sure if my battle with Iron Solomon at King of the, at KOTD TV is still up or not, but um, I'm sure you guys will correct me if it is. Um, I'm checking my phone to interact with you guys because I have bad vision and I can't see that huge screen and what you guys are saying. So if I'm looking down, it's not because this is written. I'm freestyling right before you. Um, so yeah, you should feel free to blurt out questions. I'll kind of answer them as I see them on here. You can ask me anything. Just don't be weird um, because it's just not a good look, you know? It doesn't look good on you. Um, also, I'm going to blast out this link real quick. So imagine something really cool is happening right now because it is. And make sure to also make sure to share this link on um, Twitter and everything with with uh, your, your 10 friends that follow you, you know, need them in here. Um, let's start with, I see, I see, uh, I see Hubert in the room. Appreciate you. Definitely going to keep working hard. I'm taking, I've, I've, I was talking in interviews about this, but um, I'm going to take a little break from battling for a good little six months to a year, most likely just to, uh, do this more often, you know, do more raising the bars, uh, the prediction series covering battle events and um, between the bars. And I want to expand on between the bars, too. Um, I have some questions actually for you guys tuned in what you might like to see um, coming on the YouTube channel in the future. So appreciate you. Mortillions says L21 over JC. Um, hey, if it's been a minute since you've seen something from me, foreign language, weird emoji, I think is your name, then you just, you haven't been tuned in, you know, the channel, it's been, I mean, raising the bar five, it's been probably a couple months, but I did the Chilla Jones battle, did the Royal Rumble, did the Iron Solomon battle, and JC, um, battle all within that kind of short time, um, that I haven't been releasing any new Raising the Bars. But I want to get it to where I can actually drop one a week. I'm not going to... That's that's the goal. That's what um, I'm working on here, meeting with uh, the good people at YouTube headquarters, sort of strategizing how to utilize this page more and give you guys as much content as possible. So, aside from that rant, I'm behind on the chat. I'd like to answer some questions so feel free to fire them off. Um, weird foreign emoji name, screen name, says, you got plans for raising the bar installments and plans for upcoming projects? It's a good question. Um, as I mentioned, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm working on really trying to expedite the process of getting more raising the bars to you. I'm going to be launching a Patreon soon as well to sort of bolster. I want to start having guests, you know, like flying people out and getting bigger guests to um, any starting off with any guests, but also connecting with you guys on, you know, a monthly basis or maybe twice a month and kind of brainstorming from my supporter base what people want to see, you know, what who would you want to see on raising the bar um, etc. And, um, so that's as far as raising my plans of raising the bar. The goal in the next couple weeks is to get the next one out and then get on a, a schedule of, 
you know, putting out one at least every two weeks, but the goal is going to be one week. I just have to line everything up. Um, so that might take a couple weeks to adjust to getting getting on that schedule. And then, of course, with the Between the Bars and um, other content coming in between those releases and plans for upcoming projects. So the squad, you know, Chase Moore, Bobby Butcher, um, 667 in general have there's a bunch of music coming on that that I'm a part of Chopper Reed. Uh, it's an album with Bobby Butcher and Chase Moore that I'm on, and I believe they said it. That, uh, there's not a release date, but it's coming before the end of the year. I've heard it; it's finished. It's absolute fire. There's Non Perishables Four, which is I'm all over that. And you have like sort of all the Fresh Coast staples from Awkward's Dirtbag Dan, Satire, Lush One. You know me and the Six Six Seven Camp Fredo. Um, there's a lot of crazy tracks. If you actually, were, if you were tuned into the uh, the world domination pay per view, both LA and Toronto, there were some sneak peeks from uh, some of the songs on that. So, and I know Bobby has a solo album as well coming. My personal projects solo, uh, man, I have so much music that I'm just I'm working on how to release it and that, what songs to put with what. Um, I've been, I know since the first Raising the Bar, I've been talking about Gunpowder, Holy Water, um, coming soon is I think what I said in the first Raising the Bar dropped a while ago. So you could be like, well, coming soon. But if you watch it again before the album drops, it's still true. Um, I'm trying to get that out, some semblance of maybe an EP or a project, um, early, early 2018. So there's that. And if you don't have, as far as projects, Ethereal, you can get that, stream it anywhere online. So that's the long-winded answer to the first question. Um, Brock White says, tell Chase he's a monster. He should release more beats. I kick freeze styles to them. I'm going to say no. I don't want you to have his beats. I want his beats. I want all of Chase's beats. And I'm possessive. So I'm not going to tell him that, Brock. And he's not tuned in today because I blocked him. So he'll never get that message. And I'm glad. <laughs> Crazy Head 89. What's good? So I'm not recording Raising the Bar 6 tonight. That's what you're asking. Uh, starting with the conversation. And uh, I have some of it written already. And I'm trying to get that out ASAP. I actually want to film maybe the next two in one sitting. That way I can kind of get ahead of schedule and start, um, you know, releasing more consistently with the Raising the Bar. Appreciate you, Pizzo, Makona. Say respect. You know what it is. Um, Ethan Herbert, he asks, what do you make of the whole don't flop situation? General, general opinion on Ur. And would you work with other don't flop staff members if they went ahead and started a new league? Um, I don't make anything of the don't flop situation. Uh, you know, one of my go-to phrases when I get asked uh, about things like that, I'm like, you know, the biggest trick the media ever pulled was convincing people that because something happens, they're entitled to an opinion on it. You're not entitled to an opinion on everything. Um, and that's the first, well, I'm entitled to my opinion. No, you're not. You're not. You don't need, know enough about whatever you're having an opinion on. So, and I don't know enough about the don't flop situation to really have an opinion either way on it. And to answer the second part of your question, I would, I would be open to working with don't flop staff members. Um, you know, I've never, despite, you know, certain things I've, uh, in the past kind of, you know, mentioned about her, the the rest of the staff and has been great. And, you know, I've never had issues with money or anything like that. So, yeah, I would, uh, if they went and started a new league, I'd be open to that. I mean, like I said, not in the next six months to maybe a year, depending. I'm, I'm trying to focus on this and raising the bar and um, raising the bar of my YouTube output. So, but I'm, I'm open to that for sure. 
Shamlan Hasawi says, Ilmac, if you were to do a two versus two again, who would you choose as your partner? I can only, there's only one. I can only partner with the source. He'd be jealous otherwise, and it just wouldn't feel right. He's the best lyrical cuddler I could ever team up with. Um, how hard do you pump iron in order to push iron so hard? I see what you did there with the wordplay. That was just a... Uh, I was just adrenaline, you know, had the bars on deck, get a little bit of whiskey in me. And uh, I mean, with that situation, we don't have bad blood with each other, you know. And if you've seen it, what uh, who who asked that question? Bird Snatch is referring to is when Iron Solomon and I battled recently at the King of the Dot event. It got a little physical in his first round. Um, he was started kind of like poking at my chest and I shoved him and people were kind of running with that like oh you shoved him like a rag doll no it was just it was just a reaction you know and you see immediately in the tone after I was like hey fix your mic like let's do this it's it's all good there was nothing past that it was just just a reaction and um you know he was caught up in the heat of the moment as was I that it happens um so the question is, no, Iron. I specifically didn't work out for that battle. That was just my natural man strength. Uh, top question, except the source, who would you team up with on two on two? No one. Uh, I would consider teaming up with only one, you know? That's, that's, that's fam, you know, only an ill. I'd consider that, but if it wasn't, only then it's got to be the source you know just because because the because the, the legacy there what native american tribe are you from lx cordova asked good question so um i'm actually so from Salet's tribe and um Salet's is a coastal tribe in oregon um my original bands um are shasta costa and chetco it's like Southern Oregon, maybe NorCal, I believe. And then we made the long march to uh, northward to the coast of Oregon. It's like right outside Lincoln City. And I'm actually part of the tribe. My mom works in the tribe. I'm not the cliche white guy. Like, yeah, man, I'm part Cherokee. Like, no, you're not. Um... Raising the bar five was ill. Sten School says, I appreciate that. Just taking a sec to catch up. I know I'm behind on some of these questions. We have, only have about a half hour or something like that. So keep this moving. Um, how many are you going to make? I assume you're talking about raising the bar. Um, they asked how many I'm going to... How many, Nick Berkheimer asked how many raising the bars I'm going to make. Or are you going to set a number or just go as long as you can? Yeah, I don't want to set a ceiling on it, you know? Um, as long as I'm enjoying doing it, you guys are enjoying watching it, you know, we can kind of keep adding to it so it doesn't get stale by bringing guests on and adding little uh, twists to to the series to keep it fresh. Uh, I, don't, I don't have a number in mind, you know? I want to go as long as it's interesting. Um... Okay, where are we at? Appreciate you, Mr. Mike Hawk. I, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. He said he's got me on the Patreon. Appreciate it, man. That's what's going to enable the channel to keep growing, you know, and, and like I said, bringing guests on for some of these series like Raising the Bar. Okay. Na <laughs> Who I was referring to earlier is Weird Emoji. My, in my ignorance, it actually spells out Batman in Japanese. So, shout out Batman in Japanese. I got you. Um, he said, guess on Raising the Bar sounds amazing. Do I have anyone already signed up or someone I want on? No. There's definitely um, a few people that I have in mind to get on the series. And um, 
Honestly, I'm, I don't want to divulge that yet. I kind of want it to be a surprise when the first one drops. Um, but it's going to be a thing where I want to start doing, like I said, streaming a couple times a month at least and, you know, sort of picking your guys' brains and the supporters' brains of who you want to see on the series and trying to make that happen. Um, Tito Trinidad said, congrats on the JC battle. Beating one of the top pins in the game. Showed everyone you're still talking that GOAT talk. That wasn't a question, but I had to read it. I liked it. I like you. I like the way you think, Tito. Um, Raul Adrian Baltog says, asks, can you battle Daylight, Be Magic, or rematch Pass? In theory, I think me and Pass would be amazing, but... I like the guy so much, um, you know, it's fam, it'd be hard to battle him. If we did battle, it'd definitely just be on some elite rapping um, type vibe, you know, in a, in a very respectful atmosphere. Um, I'm not opposed to battling Daylight or B-Magic. I know B-Magic was calling me out um, somewhat recently on Twitter, and I got a crazy response, people wanting to see that. So uh, I would be open to that. And just to reiterate, like I said, the next six months to maybe a year, I'm not going to be battling. I'm going to be focusing on connecting with you guys here, dropping more, raising the bars. But, yeah, I, I'm not opposed to the Daylight or B-Magic um, matchups. See what else. Some Drunk Space Wolf. That's an awesome screen name. <laughs> Asked about future collabs. Um... For Gunpowder Holy Water, the next pro I mean, we were talking about collabs on Raising the Bar, but as far as musically, I got some interesting um, collaborations. Uh, I did a song with Daylight and Hobson. It's for Daylight's project. Um, I think he might pull the trigger on releasing that at some point. Um, and I definitely have a lot of music with Bobby Butcher and Chase, so you can count on that. Also, I think we got a a joint or two with Big K on non-perishables, which is flames. So, someone, Tito Trinidad again, he asks, you need to charge money for raising the bar. We don't deserve that for free. I love giving the bars, giving you bars, you know, that's what I'm here for. And, um, you know, like I said, when I'm launching the Patreon soon, um, you can support that, you know, and help make it interesting you know have a say in guests and things like that so i appreciate that tito um ethan herbert asks any chance of the soul battle still happening i know it was talked about on don't flop but with that out the window get organic on it question mark um i think that falls in the same line as like you know be magic where i think that'd be an incredible battle um, and it just comes down to right timing, right, you know, league or platform wanting to make it happen and breaking that bread. Yeah, uh, Soul is one of my favorite. Oh, he has an amazing pen. I, I, I really dig his style. CG says, asks, only one in Ill Mac again, question mark. We've been talking a lot about that recently. Only one actually, uh... He has a new project that's, last I heard, pretty much done and starting in the mixing phase. It's actually all produced by Smoke, um, M2D6, who also uh, produced the entire Ethereal album with me and Gold. But it's incredible. It's actually incredible. Man, he has this song called The P Word. I think he just released it, maybe. But, you know, there was the whole trend recently about, you know, the pussy or whatever, die for the pussy, that whole, like, YouTube trend. He had a whole song about that, like, eight months ago, where it's like, <laughs> at the end of every bar, you're getting that. And he didn't put it out, and then it became a viral trend that everyone was doing. Once you put it out there, anyone can grab it. But, yeah, only one, an ill Mac, uh said that pretentious in the third person. Yeah, I think there's going to be another only an ill in the pipeline um, next year, for sure. We'd like to do an EP. Oh, and the, uh, the name of Only One's new project is called Fuck You. So, <laughs> so make sure to watch out for that. 
And his idea is if we do only an L, that he wanted to name it Fuck You Too. So <laughs> that's from the mind of only one. Um, that answers Elder Scrolls project. I mean, a question as well. Um, someone asked if I'm going to South by Southwest. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe every time I go, I just find myself at one point wondering, like, is this worth it? <laughs> like, is my feet hurting and being drunk for five days and just being caught up in this mayhem actually worth it? I'm not sure. So, to be determined. Uh, Mortillion's ass. Chilla Iron JC. Who is the hardest to prepare for in battle? Um, I would have to say Iron. And the reason is, is because I uh, confirmed the Iron Solomon battle. And then like the next day, or in the next day or two of confirming, uh, uh, the Un-Australian Hip Hop group, they're really well uh, known out there, like 10,000 people shows called Bliss and Esso, hit me up like, hey, we're going to do a Canadian tour in like three days. It's three weeks long. We want you to come. It's a bus tour. We'll take care of you. You'll be main support. Are you down? And I was like, oh, I got this Solomon battle. I'm like, all right, I'm there. I'm there. So I immediately, after confirming with for to battle Solomon, immediately went out to Canada and, and toured for three weeks and was like, oh, I'll be able to ride on tour. This is what I do. Uh, it's a little bit uh, easier said than done. I was kind of in show tour mode and I really didn't write much on tour at all. And I got back with six days left before the battle and didn't have a single round and wrote all of my material and wasn't done till a couple days out, which isn't me. I'm not the sorest disaster. These guys who just have impeccable memories. I need my time to refine my material and everything, but it worked out. But that was definitely the hardest to prepare for because of those circumstances. And he's such a, it was stressful because he's such a legend that there's a lot of pressure with that, you know, but it worked out. Um, appreciate that Tito said the pen game never been better if the last album ethereal we like that um, bird snatch asks what conspiracy theory podcast do you listen to <laughs> why does everyone think I let Sam Harris waking up <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's actually I wouldn't call it a conspiracy theory podcast at all but it's super informative and I don't always agree with the guy but he uh he has interesting guests and covers interesting topics on there. <laughs> it's funny that you asked that because last night <laughs> someone texted me asking about flat earth theory. I'm like, why am I the guy? And I assume it's just because avocados on a smear campaign on the Ruin Your Day channel calling me a flat earther. It's not true. It's not true. I subscribe to the heliocentric model, bro. Um... Yeah. Okay. Where are we at? Let me just check back in. Oh, good question. LX Cordova asks, what's up with the Ilmac clothing? Um, I'm sorry just to be going through these questions as well, but I want to get to as many as I can in the small amount of time that we have. Um, so the Ilmac clothing, uh, I haven't, if, I mean, if you're tuned in, I haven't had merch for a while. I think since like only an ill album dropping or available online and uh i just on tour on an off day in canada pressed up a bunch of hoodies and shirts just suit black and white all black with just the white ill mac like font or whatever um i'm trying to have those up by the end of november and available online and shipping out you know in time for in time for christmas so you can get your niece the ill mac bib and you can rock the ill mac onesie by christmas time opening up your presents um yeah the hoodie the hoodies are comfortable man uh is it weird making music with someone you battle before or after um i don't do it often just because most most battlers don't make that great of music and 
so I kind of collab with a smaller percentage of them. And it's not, it's not weird. If we're in the process of making music, we already have a natural vibe. Like me and Kay battled, but we made music before and after. And, you know, just don't, I just don't force anything. Side note, when I say battle rappers can't make music, it's because most people can't make music. Battle rappers aren't special in that way. Um, oh yeah, Destination Survival Outdoors. Awesome name asks, "Are you and Bliss and Esso touring the states?" Uh, I, w I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say no. There's been talk about it, um, but nothing solid um, as of now. <laughs> Jason Rodriguez asks, "Have you eaten pizza, G?" <laughs> yeah, I've eaten pizza. I've eaten I've eaten pizza. Get out of my business. <laughs> Don't worry about my diet. Uh, yeah, I, I miss pizza. I I rarely eat it now, cause cause I have beef with cheese. I won't, I won't get into that. Uh, Raul asks, uh, what about a collab with Nestle? What about it? The myth of Nestle, the illness album that will never see the light of day. Um, Nestle is amazing. He's one of the most talented people, um, beats, singing, rapping at an uh, amazingly high level. The question is, is when he's going to want to do it. You know, my, my line's always open um, and I'm always open to that because he's amazing. Okay. Would I consider doing more songs with Big K? Yeah, we have a couple on non-perishables. Um, I know I'm kind of high up in these questions, so... You might ask that before I answer, but yeah, we have some new some new music as well. Big K is a beast. Um, let me check the time real quick. What are we? Where where are we at? Three minutes. minutes? Got three minutes left. I'm gonna scroll down and just pick a couple questions now, cause I know I can rant. So if I didn't get to you, I'm gonna be doing more very soon. Make sure to um, subscribe, and if you are subscribed, make sure to hit that bell then you'll get a notification every time I go online or new content comes out. So if you want, if you haven't um, rang the bell, make sure to do that because I'm going to be doing more of these and I can get to more questions next time. Uh, <laughs> Chase Moore is in the building. Respect Chase Moore. Don't ask him the question that you asked me or you'll be blocked. I need all of Chase's beats. I'll answer one last one before we get up out of here. And that is... Let's see, drum roll. Let's see, what do we got? I mean, it's gotta be a good one and I'll answer it quick. When's the next Raising the Bar? Soon. What, where are my riders at? Ruin your day, subscribe. 98% uh, of rappers suck at making music, it's true. Uh, quick, f f quick fire. Chase Mario, Mac rarely eats it now because it's where the cheese is found. <laughs> That's a bar, That's good. It's good. A little late in the chat, but you and Pete versus Shufflo. Again, no battles on my media schedule. I don't know if we can beat them. They're amazing. What are we going to do? Outbar them? Yeah. But then then what? What are we going to do? Outfunny them? No. So there's no winning against Shufflo. I don't know if I'd want to battle them. Team Backpack, going to get a bar fight. Probably not. Maybe, maybe, but raising the bar is where I want to really be putting all my bars and giving them straight to you on this channel. Um, so, yeah, again, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I appreciate everyone that tuned in. Again, ring the bell, get the notifications, and I'll be back as soon as possible, probably in the building with the Ruin Your Day squad, with Chase Moore, and with um, Avocado streaming live, watching battles doing what we do. Appreciate your time.